Hey everyone, welcome to another radio video and um, we will be comparing today the good old Realistic Pro 2006 against my much more recent ICOM ICR20 on the same conditions that is telescopic antenna only on the VHF and UHF channels. Um, of course the best way you can compare two receivers is by using a um, signal generator because you know what signal you are actually transmitting at what power you know that the input is exactly the same um, I don't have any signal generators so I was thinking that probably one of the best ways to compare it is uh, just put telescopic antennas on both put them next to each other and see if uh, what they can you know receive or not um, I know that it's not totally fair and totally accurate but I think it's the closest thing to comparing two um, receivers together so um, let's just back up here a little bit there we go I've put telescopic antennas on my ICOM and my Pro 2006 the uh, telescopic antenna on the Pro 2006 is actually the R20 flex antenna the one with the little joints that is on the back input not the telescopic antenna that you screw on top uh, I lost that screw top antenna uh, many years ago and never found it so uh, this is more of the um, another way of having a telescopic antenna through the input at the back of the receiver so first we'll compare uh, I have tuned uh, a hard to hear signal here in Montreal which is the uh, weather from um, Burlington Vermont it's actually a um, NOAA weather frequency which is 162.400 that one is not too difficult to hear with an outdoor antenna it comes in really really well but with a onboard um, with an internal telescopic antenna it's much di more difficult to receive and I'll give you a little idea, this is with an outdoor antenna what it sounds like on my uh, 8500. Miles an hour with gusts up to 40 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. So you can see how strong it is, you can see by the S meter with an outdoor vertical antenna. This is how I receive it here, quite good. But now let's compare Pro 2006 telescopic, do we hear it? We hear it in the noise. You can see that in the noise we hear it just a little bit. Now on the R20 telescopic again. We hear it pretty much the same I would say. Uh, we, we have a slight signal but it's not really strong but you can notice that there's something there um, so on this first signal I would say they are pretty much on par with each other on what they can receive so uh, it's a good point for the Pro 2006 because it means that sensitivity is seems to be up to par with a uh, much newer receiver and uh, well what I'll do is uh, scan downwards on both receivers and see what signals they actually receive or don't receive so uh, let's start here I'll uh, scan and we'll put of course a squelch so let's scan downwards okay, here there's a signal let's put it the direct here put in here direct downwards so both stop on this signal on 162 
Let's continue. Okay, this is the maritime weather on 161.850. Pro 2006. Let's put it on the R20. I don't actually say it's pretty much the same once again. So on uh, the VHF portion of the band, um, I believe this signal is pretty much the same strength. So let's continue scanning and see. So this is the second channel with the weather on 650. Both receive them once again. We have the impression that there's more um, noise on the Pro 2006, but I believe it's because the um, frequency response of the speaker makes this receiver um, with higher frequencies on the uh, audio output. So we hear the the little ash noise better on the Pro 2006. And let's scan down. So scanning down. This is Paget frequency, 157.740. Uh, one thing you notice, uh, and we'll try, unfortunately I'm sorry about the display that we don't see much here because the backlight is totally dimmed. Uh, this is a main problem of the Pro 2006, the fact that the backlight is so uh, will actually deteriorate uh, with the use and since it's more than, well, let's say about 20 years old now, my um, and I've used it a lot, um, the backlight is almost at zero. So this is Paget, we can see together. Um, if you scan, and I'll scan downwards here. You see that this one stops on more signals, which are possible enter mods on this one, which is not the case on my Pro 2006, so uh, we can see that the uh, 2006 is more immune to the noise level. But one thing that we see on the R20 is that it scans really, really faster. So uh, the hyper scan of the Pro 2006 is quite slow compared to. You can see that the, the the scan speed is really really not as good, and they both scan at five kilohertz intervals, so uh, it's much slower in the Pro 2006. That's one thing for sure. Uh, but uh, you notice that the 2006 did stop much less on intermod type signals, while my R20 actually got several intermods that interfered with the scanning and basically that's probably the major problem of the R20 is the fact that it overloads easily so I um, usually put the RF gain down um, from goes from 1 to 10 I usually put the RF gain at 7, 6 or 7 uh, it prevents it from overloading and uh, will let me listen to most signals anyway I don't 
going to be. I think it's going to be mainly in the south, but uh, maybe we are in the south. <laughs> this is a repeater in Covey Hill. We call it Covey Hill. It's a little far away from here. My R, my uh, Pro 2006 stopped there pretty well. And if we put it here, both receive this repeater, this two meter AM repeater, pretty well also. So I would say that um, on the VHF range for, um, you know, we started at around 162. We're now at 146 and the 2 meter hand band. Um, sensitivity wise, they seem to be pretty much the same. One little detail about the R20. The R20 always stops a little short of the frequency and that was always something that annoyed me a little for example I'll scan again upwards and scan down it stops at 690 the real frequency is 685 but on the Pro 2006 if I scan up scan back down stops on 146 685 directly so it's a little more precise and it's frequency stop. I had a very good thing on to the repeater in Bolton, but I wanted to, I sent him an email and I haven't had a response. But I think this test generally proves that the old Pro 2006 is still very sensitive and a very good scanner. You can see that it actually outperforms the R20 because it doesn't overload compared to the R20 that actually overloads easily. Oh, very good. I hope you're going to get, um, get out of your uh, uh, that situation. It's very unpleasant to have a And it also shows that if you can find an inexpensive, realistic Pro 2006 scanner, it's still a really good receiver for the price. For example, here you see that in the middle of the 2 meter, it overloaded a little bit here. Something that doesn't happen on the 2006. So I'll go back scanning down. As you can see we're already at 144 here and here it's still not left the 2 meter band. So, uh, positive point, scan speed is much better on the R20, but it stops. Both stop pretty much on the same signals. What is mostly the problem is the fact that this one scans, the R20 scans so fast that it's uh, it gets to the frequencies before the uh, R2000, the, uh, well, Pro 2006. So we can easily come to a verdict that on the VHF band, Pro 2006 is a winner. The only thing that differs on the Pro 2006 is the scan speed. But if you take out 
the scan speed it is as sensitive as the R20 and um, negative point for the R20 intermod that interferes with scanning throughout the VHF band so this is the first video this is on the VHF band we just compared the two I want to hear your comments what you thought of this test what did you see that maybe I missed out on or what do you think about it uh, leave your comments and uh, it's fun to uh, have all of your comments out there radio wise and uh, now I'll do a second test on another video and the second test will be on UHF we'll go from 400 and from 400 megahertz um, to about 4, 5, 460 470 and I'll try the very higher hand at 800 megahertz after that and see um, and go up to uh, 900 and see um, what we receive on both receivers so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little testing of the Realistic Pro 2006 which is a 20 this one's a 20 year old I bought it in 93 I believe and um, but it's like a 25 year old scanner or something almost compared to the much more recent ICOM ICR20 receiver so 73